Hello. This is going to be a mid-month, taking you guys on into the new year. See what's coming up for the 15th through the 31st. This is for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs. This is a general reading, so it's not going to resonate with everyone. Um, so, with that being said, if you guys need a personal reading, <clears throat> visit the website. Or, if you have problems with that, you can email me. Alright, whatever comes up, guys, comes up. Love and guidance. Here we go. Capricorn. Hi, Capricorn. Oop. Here you are. Page of Swords. Not really speaking, just trying to, you know, figure out something before you do anything. Not talking, not moving, just in, in a, at a point where you just feel like I need to sit back and just study this situation, okay? Could be spying on somebody, somebody spying on you. Um, yeah, checking you out on Facebook, all that stuff. What your challenge is, is the Hierophant, okay? Now in the past, here you are as a page of Pentacles. Right now, your foundation is the world. The reason why you're here. Now, your present situation is a five of cups. Hmm. Ooh, pull two cards. I'm going to take them too for the near future. The first one is the star. Coupled with temperance. That's a lot of healing. And I can definitely see why that is there and both cards came out. How you see yourself is the tower. Wow, I'm sorry. This is what's in the environment, the four of wands. Hmm. And then your hopes and fears, you really have 10 of cups. Bless your heart. And then the potential outcome is a two of swords. Okay. All right. So Capricorns. In your recent past, you come as a page of pentacles. I feel like there was something that you felt inside that you didn't really want to acknowledge but there was something kind of tapping you on your shoulder and telling you to pay attention, okay? So there's something that you, you realize and that you had to face here in the past, okay? Because right now, you're the page of swords and you're just observing situations um, and I, and I know this has to do with love because I can't seem to get anything but love, okay? Um, observing a situation to see if, you know, it truly is what you're thinking, okay? And I feel like your intuition is telling you exactly what it is that you need to do here. Your challenge is to have faith in yourself. Have faith in yourself that what you know in your gut is what it is. It's what it is. So if you have this nagging feeling in your gut, this is telling you to stand by what you believe, what you know in your heart to be true. Okay? And you may need to pray about it if you are somebody that prays. Okay? Prayer always seems to help me. I'm just going to leave it there. However you pray. Okay? Now, whatever it is that has been nagging at you was a cycle that you were in. A karmic cycle that you were involved in. Okay? 
Now, this energy is, is propelling you to go ahead and make a decision to leave behind things that you do not want to bring into the next cycle. You don't want to bring whatever is pulling at your heart that's weighing so heavily on you. You don't want to bring it into the next cycle with you because it's going to repeat itself. And I know you don't want that. I know you don't want that because at present, you're not feeling well here with the Five of Cups. You're not feeling well here with the Five of Cups. <clears throat> See this person? Just down in the dumps. This is crying over spilled milk. Whatever, whatever it is, let it go. Let it go. Because everything happens for a reason. And when it's happening, there is no way for us to stop it from happening. We have to go with the flow. Go with the flow. Go with it. And I know it is hurtful. I know it's hurtful. And the reason why I know it's hurtful is because this is how you see yourself, the tower, that all hell has broken loose, that your world has been turned upside down. And I'm sure that it has. I'm sure that it has you feeling like, you know, how could it get any worse? But look, and I'm jumping around here. In your near future, you have the star along with temperance. Guys, this is this is this is heavenly love. You're going to get through this with the star and with temperance. The angels are surrounding you. They're holding you. They're walking with you. They're guiding your footsteps. Okay? This is, this is in your near future. Don't worry. You ever heard that saying, let go and let God? That's exactly what this is. That's what this is. Now, this makes me feel like we have the four of wands in your environment. Now, any other time I would feel as though, not any other time, but in, you know, in most situations, this is about stability within yourself, gatherings, weddings, um, you know, involving yourself. But I, I get the feeling for a lot of you that there's somebody in your environment that you were attached to that's either married or they possibly left you for somebody. Okay, for a lot of you. This is also you needing to get your, ground yourself. Ground yourself. This is what this is saying, ground yourself. Okay, now I'm going to clarify this card in a minute. Your hopes, this is your hopes and fears, but I feel like, you're hoping to find true happiness. You're hoping that this person will come back to you because it ended, tens are endings here. You're hoping that this is not truly over. For right now, it is. And I, I feel like you know, that's my message for you. For right now, it is. Nobody knows what the future holds. But right now, it's, it's time to take care of yourself. Get your footing. And start feeling good again. Because you're not feeling good with that five of cups in the tower, okay? This is also you feeling like this is the love of your life that you're never going to find anybody that's going to make you feel the way that this person made you feel. Your possible outcome 
is a two of swords. I don't like this card, especially in the possible outcome, because this makes me feel like you are going to be in a position if you if you don't decide to just, you know, really work hard to let this go, that you're going to have to make a choice between yourself, your sanity, your health, and giving your energy to this situation that's not serving you. Okay. So let me see what this Four of Wands is about because I really don't like delivering that kind of news. Um, let's see. Why is the Four of Swords, Four of Wands here? The Four of Wands. Why is the Four of Wands here? Oh, lots of cards jumped out. Let's see. There's five cards here and I'm going to take them because I feel like you know, it's going to give me an in-depth explanation, okay? So temperance repeated itself here. This is you needing to get your stability within yourself. Get confident. Know who you are with the hierophant. Know what you stand for, what you believe, what you will accept, and what you won't. The four of wands again, most definitely. Then we have a star repeating itself. Guys, this is a strong, strong message. Healing, healing. Focusing on your finances. Because I feel like, you know, this, whatever this was that brought this tower moment upon you also has left you depleted as far as your finances are concerned. Maybe you haven't been going to work because you haven't been feeling well. Maybe you're in jeopardy of losing your job. This is like blowing the horn for you to take notice of yourself. And the Nine of Wands. The Nine of Wands is the wounded warrior, but it's also indicative of the fact that no matter what you have gone through, you can go on. It's just a little bit further. Okay? So Capricorns, I, you know, I'm going to, to pray for you when I get off, when I finish this, because I feel a lot of your pain. I really, really do. And, and I feel it so heavily because this time last year, and I don't talk about this, this time last year, I went through a breakup, but it was right after Christmas though. So I, I feel a lot of your pain, but um, you guys take care of yourself. Look after yourself. Love yourself, okay? Pamper yourself. Get out. Go visit family. Let family help you. Let friends help you, okay? Love you guys. Speak with you soon.